What's up guys, it's Geeks Connor here. Today I'm going to show you how to get iCombo Box back on your device after Apple has removed it now from the App Store. Now, for those of you that don't know, iCombo Box is an app that got in the App Store. It was under as a translator app and then converted once opened, either after a couple of minutes or sometimes a couple of hours, it turned into a movie app. Now, some people have said that it's actually been deleted from their downloads as well. So we've got a way you can actually install it on your device free of charge and still be signed by Apple. So simply, we're going to go ahead and launch Safari. So we're going to do a new tab here. And then you're going to go to our web address, which is geekscorner.co.uk. We will put a link in the description as well. And then once that loads up, you're going to close the ad first of all at the way and then we're going to click on the menu on the top left and choose ios center and then scrolling down you've got several options here but it's ios apps is what you want and then you're going to scroll through and you're going to find icombo and then just close the ad down click go and now this will take you to where we've actually got the app installed. So you're going to put install app and you're going to leave it download. Now I'm not going to do that because I've already got the app on my device. But whilst it's installing, you're then going to close that page and head back to our website. And here you've got the removed apps login. Now it's got the link directly there. But if you scroll back to the top here and click on the menu and then the little arrow by iOS center, you've also got removed apps login. Click on there. And then again, scroll down and you've got a list. So I combo box there. Now, depending on when you're watching this video, make sure you do go to this page because passwords do get changed and updated. So make sure that you do check on this page to make sure you've got it. Then simply launch the application of I combo box and it will ask you for a username and password. So you put these in. It may kick you out on the first once you press OK, but it simply launch it again and away you go. Now you may have to wait for it to obviously open and change into a movies, but that's simply how you do it. So make sure you share this with your friends and family so they can enjoy iCombo Box 2. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you on the next one.